Hello everyone, this is Center Collector here with another action figure review. And here we're going to do the Build-A-Figure Tri-Sentinel figure from the House of X Wave. Uh, so first let's build them. So first we got the uh, torso from the Omega Sentinel and then we got the three heads from uh, Magneto. So it doesn't really matter on how you really plug them in because they're all the same thing. So just pop them into their sockets like this. A little weird though. Um, does it want to pop in? Maybe. No. I had to put a little bit of heat on there. All right, that took a little bit, but it, yep, got the heads in there now. And then next we'll get the uh, the left arm, which is from Cyclops here. So this is this one here, just pop that in like that, boom. And then the other arm, which is also from, I believe, Professor X. Just pop that other one in. And then his left leg, which is from uh, Moira. That just pops in there that swivel just like that pretty easily and then the other leg from Jean Grey boom just like that and this way it looks like right now I may have to zoom out it's a little tall obviously if I can get him to stand up straight but yeah that's him all built here so let's go over the details so here's the heads they're each the same thing same mold uh, paint job might be a little different because of marbling. But I like this purple that they got going on here. You get the purple eyes too. Kind of has that skull look to it. Uh, you get some nice gunmail gray for the for I mean the actual face part of it. Looks really cool. And then for the torso, you get this like weird V look. Uh, you get like a little chest piece there that's supposed to light up, and you get these other like darker pink or more neon looking pink in there I meant purple my bad and you get this nice purple here you see a little bit of marbling right there at the armpit i like this mold you get the gray in there around the neck chest whatever you want to call that area and you get that darker purple around the edges here to the back and then silver in the back gets that marbling there too um, and then here's the arms, still a little bit of marbling on the shoulders. You get some more of that like hot pink, I mean hot purple pink there. Um, and then the forearms look pretty cool. It looks matted right here and looks pretty shiny there in the middle. And you get some gray for like the shoulder, I mean elbow area. You get the gun metal gray for the other, for part of the forearm throughout the hand. Same deal on the other side. And then for the like little bottom piece of the torso, you get some light gray there and then the darker gray here for the sides. If I can move that, there we go. So you get some cool molding there. And then the pelvis area, you get the purple. And then the legs, you get the light gray here and then dark gray around it. It's pretty cool. You get some light purple in there too, metallic purple down there through the knees too, which I like this purple a lot. It looks really cool. I like the dark gray here and then you get the light gray at the toes. So that's pretty cool. But besides that, let's go over the articulation. So it's gonna be a little tricky. The heads can swivel. I don't wanna do it too much, but you could do a 360 rotation without, I mean, you could do it. You can't do it without hitting each other, but you rotate it 360. Um, and then the heads, they're a little weird, so uh, you could rotate them a little bit until it hits like right there in the, yeah, that little cord area there. So yeah, um, but you can barely get them to look up and down. You kind of got to maneuver it, but you can't make them look up and down that much. 
so you can look down that much up that much same deal on the other ones so yeah a little weird uh, and then you look them make them look left and right kind of at an angle um and then the shoulders can go out not that far like only that far really and, and that far and you can do a, about a, a 360 rotation but you gotta kind of like slant it a little bit and that pops off uh single jointed elbows and you rotate them and then wrist can hinge down that far up that far 360 rotation around there uh, it has a diaphragm joint, but it's not going to move a whole lot. So you can, actually, it does move a whole lot. Jesus. All right. It crashes forward that much and backwards that much. That's pretty good, actually. Uh, no, just very little side to side motion. 360 rotation around there, though. That's crazy. I did not expect that. Um, legs can kick out that far. Forward a whole lot. Backwards a crazy amount. Um, thigh cut, double, I mean, it's, yeah, double joints in the knees and they're pinless joints too. So that's nice. Ankle skinge down that far, up that far, and nice ankle pivot. And here's the tri sentinel next to all the figures in the wave. Uh, it's going to be pretty cool seeing, uh, that X-Men against this, this sentinel. And then I'm going to, I did get the, uh, big deluxe one that has lab sentinel so i'm excited for that to come in this fall but yeah i like this figure a lot i am surprised about that diaphragm joint and the ab crunch area but that's like the, wow that's crazy i didn't expect a whole lot of rotation out of that i mean not rotating crunch out of that so good job on that the heads were pain to my to getting in getting them put in it was it hurt my thumb um, I kind of, I kind of gave up with my thumbs and just started pressing them in like this, um, which I didn't want to really do, but I kind of just heated it up with just basically using, um, my breath to get it heated up and loosened so I could put, I put the heads in. It was still hard again after that though. Um, but yeah, I think the details on this figure is pretty cool. I like the articulation. I think the heads could use a little bit of work on, but uh, I mean, there's three heads, so you can't really do much about that. But um, I like the figure a lot. Uh, you know, the only problem that I really just did not like was the he putting in the heads. That's my only complaint. Um, but besides that, I love this. I love this figure. I just be careful if I were you with the heads. If you're gonna try to rotate them, like try push in so that way they don't pop out on you. Um, but besides that, that's all I got for the figure. Uh, don't forget to check out my Twitch, uh, the Hunter Collector. I do Call of Duty. I'm going to do GTA at some point. Friday the 13th, Call of, I already said Call of Duty. Avengers and a few other games. So make sure you check that out. Link's in the description. But besides that, thank you for watching.